the success which led to the birth of Google was three mathematicians or three mathematical graduates from, I think, Stanford or one of the West Coast universities who actually realized that you could speed up the whole business of looking for searches across a large network of uh, computers talking to each other by, by doing some mathematics. In fact, you describe the network in terms of a matrix, which is a mathematical structure, and that matrix essentially describes uh, the connectivity of each, L each node in the network, each computer, if you like, to every other one, and you get this big, big matrix, and it's quite sparse because not every computer talks to every other computer. They may be locally clustered, and then a cluster talks to another cluster. Anyway, you can describe that with a huge, big matrix, and these guys were spot were, 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 were smart enough to spot that if you, quote, diagonalize that matrix using a classical al algorithm from numerical linear algebra, then you could re-describe the network in a way which allowed the searching to be done much faster. So it was a breakthrough with a single mathematical algorithm, which was the foundation for Google. That was the success that set them off like a rocket. Uh, the very popular topic here at the moment, last week's television was all devoted to robotics, but particularly to, to machine intelligence. Now, people are developing uh, ways of you know, trying to emulate and get some of the power of computers, but an algorithm in one sense is just a sequence of instructions. Once you set an algorithm out, it's completely, it should be completely well defined. That's the meaning of algorithm. People are developing perhaps slightly softer methods now, and although there has been quite a lot of success in trying to emulate hu human thinking um, uh, in, in the past and, and various algorithms for, for, for learning and perception, they're very, very difficult to evaluate. It's very difficult to see how they'll work, as indeed it's very, very difficult to understand how the human brain works. So. They're trying to emulate it, but it's by guessing how the human brain works and then throwing sort of algorithms and saying, well, if we optimize this or if we connected something else, then, then we make progress. And it's fascinating the pro progress that's been made, but we're never going to uh, replicate the human being with an algorithm.